let's continue with continuous whole life insurance bear in mind everything that we learned here is from the point of view of the insurance company and it is not from your point of view as a policyholder from the previous video we know that the coverage of whole life insurance contract is from the moment of the entrance into the contract until the moment the policyholders die when we are talking about the continuous insurance this means that the benefit will be paid at the moment of death the second the policyholder dies he will receive the benefit from the insurance company now we are going to see how the insurance company calculate the value of this contract let's denote btx as the benefit functions of tx The amount of benefit can move with time. For example, the longer you live, the more amount of benefit you will receive. For ease of studying purposes, let's assume BTX does not move with time. For now, let's assume BTX equals to 1 for all TX. What does this mean? This means that any time the policyholder dies in the future, he will receive one dollar. Any times the policyholder dies here. He will receive one dollar but we don't know when he will receive this one dollar what we are interested in is what is the value of this one dollar at the present time so we denote the present value of the random variable as z This is also equals to the discount of all these values. So, this factor we say it as V and then Tx is the future lifetime. We don't know when it, the policyholder will die. What we are more interested in is the expected value of Z. Insurance companies are interested to know the amount of the claim that they should be expected. Why? Because they need to ensure that they collect enough premium and also they will not fall into insolvency. So, how are we going to find this expected value of Z? Expected value of Z is also equals to expected value of V TX. This is equals to integrations from 0 to infinity bt fx t dt. This is the PDF times with times. We integrate the PDF to times. Thus, we will get from 0 to infinity bt tpx new x plus t dt as this fx t is equals to this continue we can also say that this is also equals to e negative delta t tpx new x plus t dt Just a reminder, we know that 1 plus i to the power of t equals to e delta t. So, vt is equals to e negative delta t. 
this expected value of z is also known as x actual present value we have a specific special notations for actual present value of a continuous whole life insurance which is a bar x where x is the age of the entrance into the policy and bar denote the continuous case now we are also interested to know what is the second moment of z because we want to know what will be the variance so second moment would be expected value of v to the power of 2tx is also equals to integration from 0 to infinity e negative 2 delta t t dx x plus t dt and the variance of z equals to forgot to mention here there is also a special notation for at second moment which is 2 a bar x and the variance will be 2 a bar x equals to uh, sorry minus a bar x square minus a bar x square second moment minus first moment square these two here denote the moment since it is second moment so we have two here okay that's it for this video thank you